Oh, Ron. Looks good, Brad. <laughs> so, do your knees or hips hurt every time you go up or down steps? So, I'll well, try this instead. Yeah, we've got uh, an answer for you. Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. All right, this is all going to boil down to how we posture our hips on down. If you look at my feet, and this is different between different people, I have my po toes point out naturally. I feel very comfortable with that. Some people are more in line, and some people actually are point inwards a little bit. Now, that can make a difference on pain in your hips and your knees going up and down steps. And now we're going to show you why with Sam. Sam, I am. Are we cut? <laughs> okay, so here we got Sam's left hip, and we're, we've got all the muscles and soft tissue out of the way, actually. And if the toes point out, look at the position of the hip socket. So we've got the femoral head into the socket. Yeah, you're born this way. Yep, and then... Now that was if your toes are kind of pointed out. Oh. Now let's go the opposite direction. If your toes kind of point in, straight ahead or in, and you know, we got we've got this metal thing in here which you All don't right. you don't have in your hip, so it's Poor hard Johnny. to get a, an exact uh, replica of what's going on. But you can see that motion, uh, and what that does is it changes the mechanics of the hip the, and the knee when you put the stress of your body weight as you go up the stairs as well as down. Some people have more pain, I would say in general, with my experience going down, they experience more I pain agree. than yeah. going up. So we're gonna show you a trick that you can do to help eliminate that pain, keeping this. By the way, mind. Brad, uh, men tend to be turned out more. Yeah. And women tend to be turned in. Right, and we don't really know why, do well, we? Well, there's a lot we don't know, but they, the people out there, those right. really smart people. Smart people. <laughs> okay, what you're going to need is some stairs. So go to your house or hopefully somewhere you have your steps. Very good. And you're going to do three trial uh, runs, if you will, up and down the steps and uh, monitor the pain in your hips and your knees. It's First very of, simple. Yep. Yeah. First of all, go up and down the steps without thinking about the posturing of your feet at all. And just go up. What do you do normal? Yep. Don't, I, I'm not even looking. This is just my normal gait pattern on the steps. Monitor the pain. Say, like, oh, my uh, right hip kind of hurts. Your pain. Yep. I got a 6 over 10 here. Right. I, I'm making this up now. Okay. Right. But, you know, this is uh, could be very real. And then the next time you go up, Take your feet, and we call it retrovert, or actually point them out, your toes out a little bit. So you're going to walk like, was it Charlie Chaplin? Right, absolutely. <laughs> the, the older people in the crowd will right. remember Charlie, you know. Do you guys remember With Charlie? Kane. Oh. <laughs> All right. So I, I'm going to go out and exaggerate going out, and then monitor that same hip pain or whatever pain is there, and, you know, also do it down. I'm going That should out. feel better for you, you, Brad, right? Right. This feels much better than this for me. I, I know that because I've done this before. And then check it again. Say I had a six. Oh, now that went down to a three. Now I'm going to kind of point in a little bit. Now some people will be able to point in, and if I do that, that hurts already. So I'm not going to exaggerate it that far. And then I'm going to just go up like this. And actually, this makes my left hip hurt right now. So I, I, this is a real yeah, 2 over 10 right shoulder, there. Shoulder. Yeah. Yep. So uh, I know that I am going to uh, negotiate steps. And I'm How gonna, about straight, Brad? Oh, straight, yes. I'm sorry. And point and straight. That doesn't feel too bad. And I don't know. I think when I went by myself the first time, I probably had my toes pointed out. Sure. This, is, this isn't too bad. But it doesn't feel as comfortable as when I point out a little bit. Sure. So what you do, Bob, correct me if I've got this wrong, you're going to do go up and down in whichever way that creates less pain. That's, that's your how, future. That's how you're going to yeah. go up and down steps. From you now get, on. Yeah, and you have to think about it. But after you do it for... A number of days or weeks, or in my case, a couple of years because I'm a little slower, then you will. Your hips and knees will love you. Right. So it's a matter of getting the alignment proper. We love you. 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So everything is good. Um, you know, if you got stairs like these, you can just get them out of the way, like, if, and then get them out, and then you don't even have to do stairs anymore, and then you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Anyways, there we go. Very good. Good luck with those hips and knees on the stairs. Uh, we want to keep them as long as possible, uh, as opposed to keep them healthy. Yep, as, as opposed to replacements. So I don't know if this is peace. Yeah, goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.